Good morning. It's July 29th. It's Wednesday and I am in my art studio as normal. Um, please hit subscribe and like on my YouTube channel. Pop over to Instagram. Say hi to me there. And something that I don't ask for very often, but I would really like it if people would start making comments in the description box below. Really tell me what you think about daily devotions. What do you think about the themes? What are themes that you'd like me to talk about? What are what are things that you're interested in? Um, I am gonna be doing a Lama's uh, special video. Um, and then I'm gonna do a fall equinox and a solstice. So I plan on doing some special like daily devotional type ritually type things. Um, so let me know if that's something you're interested in or if you want me to just skip that, <laughs> which I totally can. Uh, gratitude is an ascending reflection of a descending grace. Gratitude is an ascending reflection of a descending grace. Boy, that's a powerful one right there. All by itself, it's power. So what does that mean, really? Gratitude is an ascending reflection. So you're ascending on a descending grace. So when you take an experience that's difficult and hard to cope with, or you're dealing with a narcissist, or you're dealing with somebody who's a psychopath, or you're struggling with a situation that's really hard, being able to reflect on that journey and learn from it is what gives you that ascending reflection. And the grace is the ability to overcome and the, the descending grace is the energy of feeling like you're having to overcome an obstacle. And that's a lot to pack in such a tiny little phrase, but gratitude is an ascending reflection. So you're ascending on that reflection you've learned from it you have taken that into your consciousness and you have grown from it and you have gained insight and inspiration and peace about whatever that situation is okay and gratitude is an ascending reflection on a descending grace so that obstacle that part that was giving you so much heartache so much pain so much struggle to find that inner peace and be able to approach it with grace later gives you that ascending reflection. It, it's a beautiful phrase, I love it. Um, I actually might copy it and put it on my board. <laughs> I really like this one. So today's card is another beautiful card. Oh, I love this one. Number 20, softly, softly, the tender touch. Isn't that beautiful? Softly, softly, the tender touch. I love that. Okay. The feminine wisdom of gentleness can assist you now. When we are at a point in life where we want to attain greater things that don't necessarily have a proportionally greater supply of energy at our disposal, it is time to work smarter rather than harder. It is the way of feminine wisdom. We women are pretty darn smart. We should get a little bit more credit than we get. Just saying. However, a cultural ignorance of feminine, fem, the feminine way currently prevails. But we're turning that corner. Water bearers, here we go. We are generally taught that the more force we use, the more we try to make things happen, the more we will achieve. That's not true. The feminine way is not about force. It's not about forcing your way through a situation. It's not like barreling through head first. I mean, granted, I have definitely fallen victim to that before. Can't say I haven't. Nor is it about driving, striving, pushing, and grabbing in order to create. The feminine force is about inviting what we wish to come into the space we have provided for it internally and in our lives. 
This method cultivates more energy, causes less stress, attracts what is desired, and is a manifestation by invitation rather than by will or by force. Okay, you lovely women out there, because I'm in reality, there's probably 90% more women that are gonna watch this than men, but I could be wrong. <laughs> Please prove me wrong. Um, think about it this way. You have, those of you that are mothers, not, I mean, okay, I, I'm not speaking to just mothers, but those of you that are mothers will understand this, that when you're trying to get your kid who's a picky eater to eat something, trying to force it down their gullet isn't going to work. You have to find a way to make them want to eat what it is that you have made. And moms use trickery all the time. It's like, comes with the rule book. If you're a mom, you got to play the trickster sometimes because you are trying to create an invitation platform for that child to join you in that activity. Because when you force somebody to do something, they don't want to do it. It's the same thing with animals. You know, you can't force an animal to like you. They either like you or they don't. You can create an atmosphere of invitation to help them heal if they've been traumatized. But you can't force somebody to get over being traumatized. That's not how that works. Just so you know. And that's the feminine energy. We as women have that ability, not every woman, I understand that, but women, when you embrace your femininity and men who embrace their femininity, and I'm not talking about just being gay or transgender or whatever sexuality you follow, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about men who embrace the duality of spirit they contain, just like women who embrace the masculine within themselves. We become stronger, we become more at peace, we become, become better advocates for ourselves and others. And that's all that today's card is talking about. Softly, softly the tender touch, creating an atmosphere for change to happen. Create an atmosphere for you to make change happen in a positive way in your life. You can't force it. You have to be present in your life. You have to be doing the things that bring you grace, bring you peace. I talk all the time about going outside, spending a half an hour, disconnect from the internet, disconnect from your computer and your phone and your Discord channel and your Twitter and your Instagram and your TikTok and your, oh my goodness, how many more platforms out there do we really need? Disconnect from them, okay? and connect in with mother nature. And she is more powerful than any of those social platforms. She is more powerful to your inner and outer well-being than you can imagine. She is grace and we manifest her every day. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow in prayer. Blessed be.